Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I'd like to talk about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016, Surface Creation from Point Cloud Data. The Create Surface from Point Cloud command has been integrated and is now available in the user interface. This feature can be used to create a surface from one or several point clouds, selecting only the areas that you want to include and filtering out non-ground points so that they're not included in the resulting surface. You can select areas of point clouds by using window selections, by defining polygonal areas, by selecting existing closed polylines inside the drawing, and the new feature also provides the ability to adjust the default distance between points in order to change the percentage of points that will be included in the surface. So let's generate a surface from this point cloud or a piece of this point cloud because again we don't have to select the entire cloud we can define it by a window. So I'm going to go to the home tab and the ribbon and I'm going to pick create a surface from point cloud. We're going to create two surfaces today one will be filtered and one will be non-filtered and I'll show you the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and create a surface from a window. I'll just window out an area here. I'm going to go ahead and call this um, EG uh, non filter. So we won't apply a filter here, and I'll show you the result. So here's my, my uh, style I'm going to use. I'm going to hit next. Um, again, I've already cr added the window area that I'd like to have. You can see that there's 3,654,000 some odd points here. I don't necessarily want that many points, so I'm going to change the distance that it samples right here. And let's just see what happens when I go to a one-foot distance. Okay, it took it down to 237,000 points. We'll go ahead and drop it for today to two. That gets us to 77,000. I'll hit next. Now, the first surface, like I said a minute ago, we're going we're gonna to create as a no filter. So it's not going to filter out any of the points, so we should be able to see anything that, that stands up vertically inside the point cloud, like a tree or a car or, or some road signage or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and select Create Surface, and it processes the surface in the background. I'll go ahead and hit Close, and it will tell me when it's done. Okay, so down here in the lower right-hand corner, you're going to get a balloon that says it's creating a surface. And you can see this is real time. It is done. It's created the surface. Now, again, that was with 77,000 points. So what did it build? All right, let's look. So if I zoom in here on the surface, and I select the surface it created, and I look at the object viewer, you're going to see that it's used all of those different points, the 77,000 points, like I said. And you're going to see a lot of entities that don't need to be there, like trees, um, you know, road signs, anything that is uh, sticking up in the air that we basically would not consider to be like a bare earth topo. So this is the no filtered surface. Let's go ahead and filter another surface and see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So I'll just go over here and I'll, I'll set it to a style uh, that's no display. And I'll create another surface from my point cloud. So I'm going to do again, I'm going to, I'm going to use a window. I'm not going to pick the same area. I'm going to pick close to the same area. It goes ahead and selects. I'm going to call this one uh, EG filter. And again, we'll give it the same uh, style that we did before. And I'll go ahead and filter it the exact same way. So before um, we had, again, I didn't pick exactly the same area. We could have. Um, I could have actually told it right here I wanted to um, select a polygon uh, or a polyline that was in the drawing so we would have had the exact area that we would be working with for both surfaces. Uh, but it's just it's about the same amount of points. So I'm just going to go ahead and select here, and I'm going to give it two. Now, the total number of points before was 77,000. In this particular case, it's 69, uh, 69,000, and that's, again, because my, my selection varied just a little bit. Go ahead and hit Next. We're going to go ahead and do a filter method of the Kringing interpolation. As you can see from the image here, you can see that it's going to, it's going to take out some of those uh, points that might not necessarily be ground points. Hit Create Surface, and we'll tell it to close because it's going to go ahead and create the surface. Again, your balloon comes up in the lower right-hand corner, and it does 
take just a little bit to generate this surface. And there you go, the surface is generated, you can see. Create surface from point cloud. I can pick here, it says click here to zoom and it'll zoom into that surface. And again, let's take a look at it 3D and see what it gave us. So if I look at it in my object viewer, you can see this surface is gonna be a little bit more palatable. It doesn't have the, the trees or any of the non-ground points or most of the non-ground points. So you can see that the surface is actually smoother and we can start to pull information from this surface. So again, think about LiDAR and think about point clouds that you have access to. We can generate surfaces very quickly from that. And again, we generated that surface from 60, 69,000 points. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull an alignment and profile, or actually just do a quick profile. So I will, I'll run a polyline underneath here. And again, you're not going to be able to see it uh, just because the point cloud is sitting on top of it. Um, but we, we have tools that we can, we can fix that. So I can actually grab the point cloud here and I could take my level of detail since it's built. I could take it down to um, about a five. And then I'd be able to select my entity underneath. So I'm going to grab that, that line and just show you in a quick profile. Um, we'll go ahead and use both. I'll show both. Hit OK. Actually, I'm going to change to full grid. And here's a profile of both. So you can see in the profile view, I've got both of my surfaces in there. So there's the surface 2, which is the EG non-filter. All right. And directly underneath it, would be EG filter. So you can see that it is picking up the different information in the two different surfaces. So that easily we're able to create a surface from a point cloud and then quickly pull a profile view just to see what's going on in the area uh, that we're looking at there. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day.